Hello there and welcome to Column Method Subtraction Level 1. Now this is a video brought to you by the YouTube channel Maths From Scratch where we hope um, that you will learn Maths From Scratch. Uh, the clue's in the name really. So this is Column Method Subtraction and this is Level 1 and this is the first level in our course on how to do the full written method of uh, Column Method Subtraction. Now if you're not used to how these courses work, um, basically what we do is we split um, most maths topics into very simple easy levels so you can make progress from one step to the next. Um, no topic is too hard if we break them up into these easy levels. Um, and so this one is the kind of sister course to column method, um, column method edition that is already on uh, our YouTube channel. So if you've not already seen that, um, you're quite free to go ahead and watch that one. Um, but this one is column method subtraction level one. So without further ado, um, let's carry on and learn how to uh, do column method subtraction from scratch. So as you can see, we've got four examples in front of us. Um, so our question one is, we have been asked to uh, subtract or take away 31 from 62. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to actually set these up into our columns. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the 62 first, and we're going to make sure that we write 62, make sure there's a nice space in between, um, which will become apparent in later levels, but this little space is ridiculously important. So we've got a 62, and then from that, we want to subtract 31. So because we're going to arrange these in columns, we're going to write this 31 underneath the 62, making sure to line up our numbers in terms of place value. So the 6 is in the tens column, this 3 here is in the tens column, so I'll write that underneath, so that gives me a 31. So 62 subtract 31. Let's add a little line there so we know it's a subtract. Um, and then we're going to add our lines, our kind of working out lines, if you like, underneath. So our lines have been added. And then what we do, we take each column in turn and uh, we just do the subtraction. So for our first column, so 2 subtract 1, well, that gives me an answer of 1. Then we move on to our tens column, 6 subtract 3, and that gives me 3. So 62 subtract 31 gives me an answer of 31 there. So that's example one completed. We'll move on to uh, example number two then. So here we have 432 and we've been asked to subtract 111. So we'll write 400 and a three and a two. Then we're going to write our second number underneath. Now it is important that you take note as to which order that these numbers appear. So you've got to, especially with subtraction, oh my phone's just gone off. So especially with subtraction, you've got to write the first number first and then the second number second. It's got to go underneath and that's a special case for subtraction. Okay, so it's 432 subtract 111. So we're going to line these up in terms of place value. So 100 goes in the hundreds column, etc. So we're going to add our lines, and then let's do our subtraction. Oh, just make sure we've got a takeaway sign there. So 2 subtract 1 is 1. 3 subtract 1, or 3 take away 1, because you can say it both ways, remember. 3 take away 1 gives us a 2, and then 4 take away 1 gives me a 3. And so the answer to this is 321. Okay, let's move on to question number 3. So we have 679. And then from this one, we've been asked to take away 78. Now, it's absolutely crucial that we make sure that we line up our place value. So the 70 is in the tens column. So we, what we don't do is write it like this, okay? Because then we have not lined up our columns in terms of place value. So we'll rub this out and make sure that we write it properly. So 79 subtract 78. So ensuring correct place value position and then we will answer this as we usually would so our first column 9 subtract 8 well that gives me a 1 second column 7 subtract 7 well that does give us 0 so don't let that put you off we can just write a 0 underneath now in our hundreds column what we find is that there's only one 6 and there's nothing underneath so we literally take that as read 6 take away nothing just gives me 6 so the um, answer to question number three is 601. And then let's move on to question number four. So let's get my colours back the right way again with orange on my question. 
So we've got 3810 and we're going to subtract 400. So again, let's set up our columns in terms of place value. So 3810. Then we're going to take away 400. So it's a 400, so we need to start in the hundreds column. Okay, and then add our lines like so. And then let's go ahead and do this subtraction. So zero, take away zero. Well, that's nothing. One take away nothing is just one. Eight take away four. Well, that's four. And then as mentioned in example number three, three take away nothing. Well, that gives me three. So the answer to question number four is 3,410. Now we'll just quickly go through example number five. Now one thing you'll notice here is that this number is now massive compared to the other four examples that we've just done. But I'm using this one just to kind of show to you and demonstrate to you that it doesn't matter how long the number is, um, column method subtraction will still work. So it can be the biggest number in the universe, um, you can still use column method subtraction on it if you indeed had the time, the inclination and you found a number you wanted to take away from it. So let's do this one then. So we've got six, nine, three, two, one or nine. And then from that, we're going to subtract five, eight, three, two, one, zero, zero. So we've got 6,932,109. And from that, we're going to take away 5,832,100. Put me then, let's do it. So column one, so first column, the units column, nine take away nothing, just gives me nine. Second column, zero take away zero. Well, that's zero. One subtract one. Well, that's nothing. Two subtract two is nothing. Three subtract three is nothing. Nine subtract eight is one. And then the millions column, six subtract five is one. And so my answer is going to be one million, a hundred thousand and nine. And so that just goes to show that column method subtraction um, works with massive numbers as well as tiny numbers. So that's level one completed. Now you've had a look at those other um, examples, those, those five. Um, have a go at these quick four practice questions if you feel the need to. Um, and then go ahead and watch the answer walkthrough video, the accompanying one with this, um, if you want to go through the answers. If not, you can progress on to level two and I will see you there.